All right, guys. Fear mongering is a go. Florida has a new invasive species from hell. Burmese python incursion has been a headache for Florida over the past two decades, but that's not the only pesky reptile the Sunshine State is now contending with. The green anaconda, the world's heaviest snake, has also been settling down roots. With NBC2 reporting that the invasive species from South America has increasingly has been increasingly spotted in the Everglades since 2000. The USA Today notes that there are there are even a suspected population of green anacondas breeding outside of Naples and Collier County's Bacahatchee Strand Preserve State Park. The female of the species can grow more than 25 feet in the wild and weigh in excess of 425 pounds, and they go after a selection of prey described by USA Today as extensive and varied. The anaconda's menu includes birds, amphibians, mammals, fish, and even other reptiles. The green anaconda, a.k.a. Eunectus marinus, swallows its prey whole, even prey much larger than the diameter of their mouths, per the U.S. Geological Survey. You mean like every snake ever? Like they swallow, like except for crab-eating snakes, which rip apart crabs. Every other snake eats it whole. What are you talking about? They are known to consume large prey such as peccaries, capybaras, tapirs, deer, and sheep. Uh, what especially worries local conservationists is the effect that the green anacondas might have on the delicate Everglades ecosystem, especially since juveniles are now popping up far from humid populated areas, suggesting the constrictors are breeding. Yeah, you know what else? You know, makes it hard for the delicate ecosystem of the Everglades, all the homes being built in it and all the land being destroyed over the years. Like, there's not much Everglades left compared to what there used to be. And you all are worried about the animals there when there's not going to be any habitat left to this, you know, for these animals to even destroy. Anyway, tangent over. Um, I worry about the deer out here and the natural animals. Local John Bush of Copeland tells NBC2. The news press notes that um, deadly exotics like anacondas, which have been seen as far south as Miami and as far north as Gainesville, typically end up in the wild after being held as pets and accidentally escaping or even unintentionally being released. Other dangerous species, the paper warns, could end up in Florida swamps, uh, forest canals, and ponds, maybe even in your backyard, including Nile, saltwater crocodiles, king gobers, and black mambas. Oh, guys, guess what? All these animals are going to kill you, and they're going to be found in your backyard. They're going to eat Fido. And all the alligators are going to be dead, even though we don't like alligators because they hurt people. All these... <laughs> Stock photo of an anaconda. That's a yellow anaconda. That's not even a green anaconda. They can't even get it right in the newspaper article. Oh, hey, whatever. They can't even get it right in the news article. What it is. Oh, we're going to search up anaconda. Oh, there we go. Oh, this isn't even the right species. And I know, I'm arguing semantics, but it's just, if you're going to sit here and tell us how terrible these things are and how they're going to destroy Florida, get it right. You can't get it right. What is it with you guys and not getting any of this right? I mean, this is just old man yells at cloud at this point. Yes, anacondas have been spotted here in Florida. They have. And they're not something that we want around. True. But they're, it's the same thing. These things are going to kill all of your pets. They're going to be in your backyard. And they're, they're going to destroy the delicate ecosystem. Wow. Chill out. Chill out. It's you. You, you don't know anything about this. You don't know anything about this. They eat, and like they they t talk about all the big animals they can eat, which is not untrue. Like they they do get big enough. They look, you know, they eat big animals. They can eat deer. You know, these guys more than even the Burmese pythons. Like they're designed to eat very large animals. Uh but they. I don't really know what else to say other than. I'm tired of the media making this stuff out to be like 
that it's the end of the world. Do you, have you seen all the habitat destruction in the Everglades? All the, 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 the sugar being grown out there? All the pesticides? The homes of not too far from back, Faxahatchee. All of the farming, or not farming, but um, homes that are going up there. And miles and miles and miles of homes being built in the middle of what is the pristine Everglades. Because it's not anymore, because it's homes. Like, there's not going to be any habitat left for these things to even invade. And the animals are what we're worried about, not what we're doing to the environment there. Let me know what you think down below. And I'll see you on the next one. Keep it wild.